Hey everybody, welcome back to part three in building a to-do app with Vue.js. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and create a smart component. I say smart because the last component we created was a dumb component. As you can see, the Vue's header, not a lot to it, just displays an H1 tag. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is add the to-do input, where we can actually type in our to-dos and hit submit. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's create a new component here. And we'll call this one um, to do input dot view. Bam. So in here, let's add our template. That was nice. Um, I'm gonna move those out in a second here. So let's go ahead and get started on this one. Now let's have a, just like before in our other tutorials, we have a class to do, a div with a class of to do input. And inside of that, we'll have an actual input. Type is text. I'm not gonna bother giving it a name. Um, and I'm not gonna give it a value because what we're gonna do is we're gonna say it's a model, which we can wire it up to a value in the back end to our uh, JavaScript. So we go v dash which is the syntax you'll see a lot for uh, view. Pretty much everything has a V dash or V, you know, V dash something um, to let you know what it's doing. So V dash model, and that will equal, we'll just say that's called text. It's pretty easy. And we'll just self-close that one. And then let's say a button. Let's say type button. I want to clutter this up here. Um, let's go class, btn, btn primary, and the text will be submit. But what we're going to do here is we'll say v dash on colon click. It's a little different syntax than React, right? Because you React it was just on click, like a um, traditional JavaScript Angular. It's parentheses click. So this one you denote it with v dash on saying uh, it's a view uh, like action um, or view um, directive or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then we're going to say on click, what do we want to do? We want to call a function called add to do. So that's pretty straightforward so far. Down here, let's go ahead and we go script. Um, and that we're gonna say source the sauce equals dot slash, we'll just say to do input.js. And we'll do the same for styles, style sauce equals same directory to do input.css. Perfect. Let's just close that one out. There we go. I'll just save that and then components folder we could put each component with its like sub sub prop or sub items kind of like the javascript and style tags uh, or css files somewhere else but we'll just show them in here we don't have too many um so to do input dot js create another one to do input dot css that's easy enough so components, there's our two files. For the CSS, I'm just gonna copy that over because we did that in the other videos. And this isn't a CSS video, it's more focused on the JavaScript. So we go ahead and close that out. And in the JavaScript here, what we wanna do is kind of what we've done before. We're not importing anything. So we can just go export default. And we'll say the name of this a uh, component is to do input, which we'll use that later. Um, and then here we'll say data. And so data is kind of like state in React, if that makes sense. So it's internal to the component. Um, can't really access it from the outside. So we'll have to go, and then you say return, and you say what you're returning, what's available. We'll say text, and we'll just make an empty string for now. That looks good. 
Then we can say methods, um, which these are all your functions that are internal to the component. Um, so kind of like private methods, you can call them from outside, but you have to kind of pass that value along, I guess. There's ways to do it, but it's just, it's for the component, we'll make it easy. So the one we specified, if you saw back here in, where was it, in our view file in the template, was add to do. So let's add to do. And in there, we're gonna say this dot dollar sign, dollar dollar bill y'all, emit. And what we do is it's it's like in a typical like JavaScript like event emitter. So then you're gonna we're gonna namespace it. Essentially we're gonna say to do add and then we'll say this dot text. So what this means here is we're going to emit an event and the event uh, namespace or name is to do add. And the value we're gonna pass along is this dot text, which this dot text is this. So right now it's just an empty string. But if you remember, we mapped it to this input. So whatever is this input will get passed along to here. So when we emit this, somebody else or another component can listen for this specifically. So I like to do it with like a semicolon. So you say what's being emitted and what action is it that's being emitted. You don't have to follow that. You could say add to do or whatever you want to say. I just like this convent naming convention here. And you'll see how we use this as we link it up to our app uh, component, which will be listening for that event. And then we also want to reset the text in the box. So just like we've done in previous tutorials, we'll reset the text back to an empty string and that should be good to go. So nothing's changed here. You can see nothing because we haven't actually included it in our um, app.view. So let's actually import into the JavaScript first. I'll go import to do input from dot slash components components slash to do input dot view awesome and then we need to add it here so we'll say to do input perfect that should work now if you come over here still nothing why is that? Oh, what? We didn't add it over here. So in our app.view, we actually need to add it. Um, so that way it'll show up. So let's go to do input. Um, and then we'll say to do input. What? There it is. You can type, hit submit, it's deleting them. But nothing's actually happening. You can see it here. So you can see the value of text. Pretty cool, huh? So this is great for debugging. Highly recommend getting this uh, Chrome extension for Vue. Um, oop, didn't want to do that. So you can type text in there. You can see it's actually in there. And then when we hit submit, it clears the text value. Perfect. But right now we're just throwing away that text every time we just clear it out. But we want to actually do something with it, right? So what we can do here is in to do input, we can say v dash on, and we can say to do add. So we're saying listen on. So you've seen this before where we said on click. Well, click is just another like event emitter, right? Like it's just passing along what it clicked on. Well, this is v dash on. Uh, semicolon and then we're saying here's our namespace that we had before so it's listening for that event and when it gets that event we want to call uh, app js's uh, to do add to do function so this is going to be um, central to um, app js not uh, the to do input component so save that you're gonna get a bunch of errors because it's not um, defined, which is fine. We know that. So in here, what we want to do is 
we need some data. So let's go data and return. And we're gonna say to do's, actually I'm gonna copy and paste this in. So we've done something like this before here. So nothing new. Um, I'm just pre-listing the to do so you can see them show up on the page. Um, but they're not gonna show up until we build our next component in our next video, which is fine. So that's all the data we will have. Um, and then we will need some methods, right? Methods, just like we've done before. So my colon, and we'll go add to do. And we'll go text is what we'll be bringing in. And then we can say this dot to do's dot push. And we can say ID um, this dot next ID. I'll say text is going to be text. That looks good. And then we want to increment our next ID like we've been doing before. Next ID plus plus. So that looks pretty good. So if we look here, do you input app? You can see it has our three here, which are, um, you're hard to see, there you go. Text, learn to make a view app. Cool, so we should be able to type in this box, um, learn more JavaScript. Maybe hard to see there, but you'll see when I push on it, boom, their object was added. Let's add another one. And it's incrementing the IDs and we have the items. So awesome, so that looks really good. So that's a good stopping point in the next one we will uh, work on our to-do um, item component, which will actually render out the to-do. So check out that video and make sure to like or subscribe if you're liking this uh, tutorial, city, tutorial series. Um, and make sure to share it with friends as well. So looking forward to the next video. See you then.